Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Fantasy Cow Radio. Now, when we left off, we had just eliminated Bloody Cliff. We had captured it in a rather decisive manner by taking out, I do believe, 640 total units. Very impressive indeed, if I do say so myself, if I can pat myself on the back. Well, technically, all of our Blazing Hand Inquisitors are the ones that did most of the damage, but as you can see here, we now have a declaration of war from the Kingdom of Swadia. Which is a little bit worrying, I have to admit. I was waiting here for some time at Halmar because we had a little bit of our companions needing to rest up. And of course we are getting a couple more units thanks to our trainer skill as well. So as we can see here we have also leveled up once. And we are going to be leveling up his strength I do believe. That's going to be rather impressive. And quite useful I do believe. Yeah there we are. Another point in a power strike. And there we have it. Okay so that is very nice. Now what... Fiefs, do the Swadians... Okay, wait a minute. They do not have any fiefs. Are they serious? Are they serious with that de declaration of war? I... Okay. I'm a little bit worried, because now I have no idea where they are, and they're probably going to be attempting to eliminate us, or at least attempting to take one of our fiefs, and... Hmm. As you can plainly see... It is going to be very difficult for them, but maybe, just maybe, they think they are able to take Bloody Cliff. That might be the reason why they have declared war now, because Bloody Cliff is rather weak at the moment. It is incredibly weak at the moment, because obviously we've just taken it, and it has a very small garrison. That might be the reason, but nevertheless, we are going to be heading on to Silver Edge Castle and attempting to eliminate the Bleeding Throat Clan. I'm actually rather surprised that the Swadians have not been eliminated yet, because, of course, they have no fiefs. So that is a very strange eventuality. Not incredibly sure why that is happening right now. But we are going to be trying our very best to eliminate the Bleeding Throat Clan so we can hopefully focus on one enemy at a time. That would actually be rather nice, I do believe. Wait a minute. Why did I stop moving just there? There we are. We want to move down there. Thank you very much, veteran. What are you doing? Yes, there we are. That's exactly where we want you to go. Now, the one thing I'm a little bit worried about is that the Swadians are just going to continually raid our villages, and as a result, they are going to be making it very difficult to, well, make any money from our villages, of course, because as you saw, we were gaining, I do believe, 10,000 in the last week's wages, and nowadays I am a little bit worried about that. I'm a little bit worried that that is not going to be the case anymore, so let's just hope, cross our fingers, that the Kingdom of Swadia vassals do not decide to do that. That would be really quite unfortunate. And we're... Oh no, I actually forgot that. We are at war against the elves too, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, that is definitely something we need to worry about. There's Great Warlord Crothu with a grand total of 19 units. And, ah, Warlord Fradai. And this is a siege tower. Why is it that every time there is a final castle or a final fief, that there is always a siege tower. I'm actually unsure about that. But nevertheless, as we can see here, we have actually started to lose a grand amount of money, thanks to many of our villages being raided. Hmm. Well, I don't think we really need to worry about that. No, we are not going to be taking peace, thank you very much. No, we are not going to be doing that. Not right now. Once we've taken your fiefs, maybe then we will create peace. But yes, at the moment, definitely not. So let's go to noon. There we go. And now let us lead our soldiers in an assault. Let us hope that the sun is high in the sky and that it is in the eyes of our opponents. Hopefully that will be the case anyway. Now we do need to get our units over here very, very quickly indeed. Hopefully move the siege tower as fast as possible. Come on, guys. You can be a little bit quicker than that. Okay, we've got a couple of Blazing Hand Inquisitors and infantry helping us out here. And this is going to take a little bit of time to get to the walls, isn't it? But I suppose we can marvel at the fact that Aiden is going to be doing so much damage with his barbecue spells, as you can see. Yes. Thank you very much. Usually, Aiden doesn't get that many kills unless he is using the fireball spell. So, I'm actually a little bit wondering and a little bit curious, shall we say, whether Aiden also uses different spells. I'm pretty sure he does, but why does he not use the fireball spell all the time? I can imagine that he would be absolutely devastating. 
consistently if he used the fireball spell. As you can see, look at that. He's doing so much damage. He actually just took out a clay golem as well as Warchief Arrowsturg himself. That is very impressive. And we need to be a little bit careful about their throwing weapons. As we know, we have gotten taken out many times. Look at that! He has advanced to level 21 by taking out 10 units in one fell swoop. Now that is very impressive. Very impressive indeed. Hmm. It doesn't appear as though there's many units remaining, actually. We've already taken out 57 of them. Aiden is doing an absolutely magnificent job. I really cannot ask for more from him. Really cannot. He is doing just what we want him to do. Where is he, by the way? New enemies have arrived. A little bit worrying, but still nothing to really be concerned about. Aha, there he is. Hello. You're waiting for your magic power to regenerate, no doubt. Look at how far away he is, though, and he was able to do that much damage. Very impressive. Very impressive indeed. And there goes the Siege Tower, and now we will all be charging in, no doubt. Yes, there we go. We are going to be charging in without any hesitation. Baron Burr's getting a couple of kills, as well as Ninok. I like to see that. Okay, let's be a little bit careful here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we can just... Whoa, okay, that's a little bit bright. Okay, we're going to be heading in here. Let's do this. Okay, what did I die from? Okay. That is... Hmm. Well... <laughs> I have no idea what happened. Did you see the combat log? I saw the combat log. It said I took 26 damage. We have 66 HP total. So... Ah, very strange. I was fighting against some regular Shadow Warriors. Regular Shadow Warriors were able to deal 66 damage in literally no time at all. Very strange. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but I suppose we can now marvel at our unit's capabilities of being able to take out the enemy. Wait a minute. Why do they have so many units here now? They only have 160. Do they not? Or at least 200. And they've already taken out that many. There's something very strange afoot here. I do believe. They have a lot of stone golems. I'm a little bit worried about that, I have to say. Well, we have Iron Golems, I suppose, and that is definitely going to win out. And we can heal ourselves, of course. Wow, there's a lot of mages. Oh, wait a second. I think maybe what happened was I was barbecued by one of their fireballs. I think maybe that was the reason. Ah, uh, that might make sense. That might make sense, yes. We have a lot of Iron Golems up at the top here, clearing out the archery nest. And we do need a couple of people to try and flank these mages, because really we're having a great deal of difficulty at the moment. We are not losing too many units to death, however. Mainly to wounded. Which is, yeah, never a good sign, I suppose. But it's something that you have to deal with every now and again. Yeah, I believe that is their last remaining reinforcements. And as we can see, we are just pouring in here. Very nice indeed to see that. But look at all of the magic missiles they're throwing. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's like a machine gun going off. It's like a Gatling gun. Whoa. How? Wow. How are they able to do that so often? That is actually really impressive. The one thing that I am not too impressed about is the fact that it's not doing too much damage, however. But I really should not be impressed by our opponents. Yes, that might not be a good idea. We do have a bodyguard over here attempting to flank us by the looks of things. Let us follow this fellow and see what kind of demise he is going to be facing. Oh, he's shooting. He's shooting that Blazing Hand Inquisitor. Oh! Oh, he's being hit by the hammers. He's being hit by the hammers. And there we go. Wow, that guy, yeah, he definitely met his match in that Blazing Hand Infantry right there. And there it is. That was indeed a battle. Goodness me. It was actually a lot more difficult than I anticipated. But of course, yes, they do have some vassals here. So the vassals definitely were making a huge difference. We are going to be 
Letting this guy go. We are going to be letting this guy go as well. They do have good personalities. And we freed this fellow as well, which means that he likes us now. So let's get some... Wow, exactly eight Inquisitors, just to refresh right there. That's actually pretty nice. And I think we'll probably take some of those stone golems. Maybe a Necromancer and a Dark Mage as well. And I think we might take... Let's see. Might take a Clay Golem. We really do not need the money, so don't worry about that. We have... I think 1.2 million now. Yes, 1.2 million in the Gnomish Bank. So really, we do not need money for the rest of the game, in my opinion. So taking these prisoners, kind of redundant. But yeah, I guess it may be okay to take every now and again. Sometimes I really just do not really want to worry about going after a ransom broker. So yeah, that might be the reason why I don't take them sometimes. Now, Aiden has advanced to level 21, which is actually rather nice, I do believe. We are going to be speaking to him in just a second. And we are going to be giving this to Lord Kagar, I believe. There we are. Thank you very much. And now let's level up Aiden and we'll see what he can get. Ah, okay. So a little bit more in intelligence. Get some more trainer skill. He is level 21, so he is going to be leveling up many of our lower level units very easily indeed. And we'll get some more in surgery as well, because why not? He is a backup medic. After all, I think it would be actually rather nice to have a backup just in case. And he did seem to stay alive for quite some time there. We have 110 Inquisitors now, which i got to say is rather impressive. Now let's just take a look here. Warchief Vlan and Great Warlord Krothu are appearing to run away. A very nice eventuality there. And we are go now going to be heading on to High Griffin Castle. Are they going to attempt to take this? It doesn't seem like it. Nope. I will not be offering peace. And the Bleeding Throat Clan and the Riders Majorocracy have made peace. Hmm. Not entirely sure about that, to be honest. Because I would have preferred that the Orcs focus... On the Riders Majorocracy, because obviously I do believe they're going to be rather difficult. Rather difficult. And we're going to head back, yeah, we're going to head past Jokala here. And High Griffin Castle is within our sight. And let's make our way over here. Yes. Oh, hello. It appears as though they have a lot of vassals here. A huge amount, in fact. Okay. Please don't let it be a siege tower. Cross your fingers, everyone. Five, four, three, two, one. Aha! Thank you. So it is going to be a ladder. Very nice indeed. Now we can definitely lead our soldiers in an assault without too many difficulties whatsoever. And we are going to be getting up the ladders almost immediately. It is dusk, so we are going to have to fight against the night time as well. A little bit. We still have the sun peeking over the mountains in the distance. But thankfully, it appears as though they don't have too many orc throwing weapons this time. They have a lot of mages, which I have to admit is not incredibly good. We are going to be placing many of our archers behind here. We don't want them dying prematurely, do we? Okay, come on, Endal. You must tank the damage for us. Okay, come on. Oh my goodness. Whoa, okay. There's a lot of units up here. I'm going to terrify some of them. There we are. That seems about right to me. It seems they have a lot of elven units up here. I'm a little bit worried about that. As you can plainly see, we're taking a lot of damage from them. Okay. Yes, thank you. And we can take out these two terrified units, and then we can heal ourselves up a little bit. There we are. Wow, they have a lot of elven units. Yes, they do. That is actually quite worrying, because they are very good at range, as we know. So, yeah, let's be a little bit careful as we approach these fellows in the archery nest here. Make way! Oh no. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. I'm getting surrounded. Okay, wait. I need to terrify. And then heal. Thank you. Okay. Okay, that did not help. Okay. Okay, I got my scimitar out. Yes, take out that elf. There we go. Take out these guys now. Take out that guy and this guy. Thank you. And we should probably go first person here. You can't really see otherwise. There we are. Take out that guy as well. Now, we do need to be very, very careful of archers. There we are. Take out that guy as well. Ah, oh, our units are going... Oh, no. Our units are going in a very 
bottlenecked type situation right over there. Okay, wait a minute. I need to wait until our heal comes back. So let's wait for our faith power to regenerate itself a little bit. And there we are. Thank you. Open gate. Should I do that? <laughs> it's kind of pointless, I gotta say. Kind of pointless. Okay, we're going to get our archers out here. There we go. And now I'm going to try to take out many of their units, but I am being bombarded from the courtyard as well. So I need to be a little bit careful there, but not too much. They are being a little bit inaccurate. Okay, come on. Do your worst with your staff. Yes, that's what I thought. Okay, there we are. Thank you. Ah, our shield is about to be destroyed. Let's hopefully get to this guy before it does. There we are. No. There we are. Thank you. Okay. Now this is where it gets very, very dicey. Because what I'm going to be doing is moving up to these mages. And if they decide to all bombard me at once, I am pretty much dead. Especially seeing as their reinforcements just came in there. That was quite risky. Okay. Okay. Everything seems to be going well so far. We are being bombarded very, very much so, however. Oh my. This is exactly what I meant. I'm dead. I'm dodging. No. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we lived. Are you surprised? I am. I am surprised. There we are. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Okay. We're going to be playing a little bit of peekaboo there, and then we're going to be just running on, taking out these guys, no problem at all. I hope. Yes, there we are. Sounds about right to me. Destroy that guy's shield, and there we have it. Very nice indeed. Look at that. We had a little bit of first-person action going on there. I actually like that quite a bit. Obviously, up at the top there, it was probably best to go first-person, because, of course, we had a couple of difficulties with being able to see properly. And 26 Blazing Hand Inquisitors were wounded. Five were, well... Five of those were killed, unfortunately. So, we are going to be letting this guy go. He is a good personality, which is rather nice. This guy does not have a good personality, which kind of makes me wish that I take him prisoner. But, uh, I don't know. No, I'm just going to let him go. Why not? What is the worst he can do? Wow. A lot of them actually do seem to be quite good personalities, so I'm quite happy with letting them go right now. And we lost 10 units total. Do they have anything that I want? Not really. Ah, this is quite disappointing. I was hopeful that we would be able to gain some Blazing Hand units, but... Yes, we had some Blazing Hand units in the previous garrison, so... Yeah. That's a little unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, so we'll take some Adept Mages as well. For Prisoners, of course. And now, what are we going to take? Well, we'll take some Veteran Mercenary Mages and... That's kind of all I want to take, really, here. We'll take some other mercenary mages as well. Maybe a dwarf? Dwarven fighters? They're not really very good, because obviously they do get stuck in sieges a little bit too often for my liking, so that's a little bit worrying, but... Hmm. Bandit mage? Why not? Let's take that. There we go. Thank you. And... Oh, a scroll of fireball. That actually sounds really cool. Maybe we could give that to ourselves at some point. Maybe, uh, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, because we do need to level up our intelligence. And we don't really have any magic power either, so it's kind of pointless, I guess. So, without further ado, let's give that to Lord Coventim. And then we will wait here for some time for the inevitable demise of the Bleeding Throat Clan. And they actually have a lot of them waiting outside here, so hello! Let's deal some damage. Okay, we have 235 against there, 189. I do believe this is going to be a rather simple fight, but it does depend on how many units they have and what kind of units they have, of course. They have 93 on the field right now. And they have, well, we have 81, but what do they have? Let's just take a look here. They have not an overwhelming amount of cavalry at the moment. I would have thought that they would have many more cavalry units. I'm actually wondering whether I should go first person or third person for this. I have never fought in first person on a mount before. Well, not very much, because I am just so bad, generally. I would think in third person I'm a lot better, but 
In first person? Yeah, not so much. Let's just try it out, shall we? Okay, we took out that mount, but that was it. Okay, I am literally the worst when it comes to first person mounted combat, so I'm going to go back to third person, thank you very much. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I just have no idea where the sword is swinging from, so it kind of makes it very difficult. But maybe there is a way to change that at some point. Not entirely sure. Maybe it's just practice. That could be it. Ow. Ow. Thank you. Take out that guy. Thank you very much. There we are. Yes, there we are. Thank you. And we can probably take out these guys as well. They don't have too many, but they are, of course, now receiving reinforcements. Don't really need to worry about them too much. They do appear to actually have a Saranid vassal among their ranks, which is, of course, not going to be too much of a threat, unless he has a lot of Mamluks, of course. But nowadays, I think this late in the game, I do not believe they will have many high-level units. And then I get taken out immediately. Yep, that was going to be my next thought. Me getting shot in the face by some amazing unit. Okay, oh, they do have some Mamluks. These guys, these guys are Mamluks right here. We need to be very careful of the, oh my. Very careful of these, I was about to say, yes. Okay. Be quite careful. I'm actually going to try and get on this. <gasps> it works. Thank you. I like having a good riding skill. That means we can use any kind of horse we desire. Okay, I need to actually hit something. There we are. That's a little better. Okay, no. Thank you. Take out that guy. We need to be a little bit more accurate, in my opinion. So I'm going to try and take my time a little bit more in general when it comes to attacking people when you're on your mount. Because you do have the opportunity to wait. You don't get forced into any kind of action. So you can really just take your time. So I think that is what I'm going to try to do from now on. Because usually I'll just be rushing in there. Rushing in there as much as possible. Dealing as much damage as I can. And then, of course, dying. But if I take my time, then I would say that it's a little bit more likely that I will survive. And isn't surviving the name of the game? Yes, it is. Well, no, it isn't. But still, <laughs> I think it would be rather nice to survive a couple more fights. And indeed, sieges as well. As you saw earlier, we were taken out in that siege, which was rather disappointing. But there we have it. We have taken out a lot of their units, and it appears as though they are all escaping, apart from Great Warlord Krothu and this fellow as well. And we lost two units, so we'll just take those peasant women, thank you very much. And we will now head on, take a little bit of loot, and there we have it. Oh my. So what factions do we have remaining? Well, of course, we have the Dwarves. We have the Drow, the House of Kenurden. And, of course, we have the Dokahan Koldof Alliance, which are currently at war against us. So, we are going to be most likely attacking them next and forcing them into some sort of peace agreement, no doubt. Now, we are the closest at, towards, let's see, Dayron Palantir Castle. We are the closest to that, so I do believe we are going to be heading over there and then probably over to Valhas... Valhas Nosnar? Oh, my goodness. Yes. Valas Nosnar Castle, and then maybe heading on to the Four Ways Inn and seeing if we can upgrade our equipment a little bit. As we can see, we actually have quite a few of our companions that have leveled up, so we will be doing that next time as well. And so, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.